Okay, some teachers are actually really good. These teachers understand that their job is to impart knowledge onto their students in an effective way so that the students can retain that information. Then there's the doo-doo garbage ones. And these guys don't do what these guys do. And it's the worst! Especially when they whine about little things, like phones or the bathroom. Uh, teacher, I, I don't think I can hold it. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know, Billy. Can you? You know what? How about we find out? Whoa, 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 hey, hey! Yo! What's up, guys? It's your boy, Orange Guy Animations. And we've all had our fair share of trash garbage teachers. Oh my god! I know I've had a couple, and I've even made videos on some of them. But the teacher in this video is one that I hate the most. <gasps> wow, that's, that's pretty intense, Orange Guy. What made you dislike him so much? Great question, fellow viewer. So I'm sure I mentioned it in a past video that me and my homie shared an English class. And initially, I thought this class would be interesting. Because the topic of the class was everything is an argument. And I was like, ooh, philosophy. We sure are getting into that big brain activity. I like me some big brain activity, especially something like that. I think that's a pretty interesting thought to think about. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, I'm sure you get my point. I thought this class was gonna be great. Come to find out, this was never the topic of the class. And we would actually be talking about misinformation, which is boring. And even worse, we had this whack, trash, booty back teacher. Oh my God, no way. And I know you guys are already thinking, what the freak is going on with bro's face? Got he. I kid you not, this man was triple masked up. First he had a normal mask on, then he put another mask on top of that one. And on the first day, bro came in with a face shield. Are you serious right now, bro? Which is already crazy. But on top of that, he was whiny like I was saying in the intro. It was a normal day of class, chilling, and this fool's lecturing up in the front, and I was passively listening while drawing on my computer. And apparently, he sees me doing this in the far corner of the classroom, and our stinky little teacher comes all the way up to me in the middle of his lecture, and he's all like, uh, yeah, orange guy, that is a use of technology I will not tolerate in my class you'll be getting marked down and losing one absence. There's, there's no way this guy is serious. Now, this would have been fine if we were five years old, but every student in that class is here on their own time. It's quite literally like if you went to the store and you just bought this nice apple, and all of a sudden, the cashier starts screaming at you, you, for not eating the apple. It makes absolutely no sense. What the heck are you mad for, bro? Because if I really wasn't listening, I would be the one who's suffering, not you. So get out of my business. And on top of that, freak you mean, that'll be minus one absence. Now I'm getting punished for drawing in your garbage class? That's actually wild, bro. And that's not even the main reason why he's the worst teacher ever. So by this time, we were getting pretty deep into the class and we were approaching final exams. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, luckily for us, in this class, in this garbage class, we didn't have final exams exactly, but we did have one more essay to write and it was about misinformation oh, and I had no idea what to write about no! because well I just didn't know much about the subject to write anything about it nor did I care enough oh! 
So I figured, hey, why not ask the teacher for some help? I know me and him had a bit of a rough start. But hey, at the end of the day, a teacher is here to help their students succeed in their class, right? So after class, I went up to the teacher's desk and the homies stayed at our seats to wait for me. Because remember, me and my boy are giga chads and we get all our work done. Because after this, we were gonna go play Roblox at the library. Plus, I was only gonna go ask my teacher a simple question. Should only take about a minute, right? Um, excuse me, I have a question. Oh, uh, what's up, orange guy? So, I know about that final essay coming up, but I'm not exactly sure what to write about, and I was wondering if you could help me with that. Oh, well that sure is a predicament you got there, but I'm sure we can solve this ordeal. Okay... So to start, how do you feel about misinformation? Well, I don't really care too much about misinformation. Like, I don't go looking for it in my spare time, because I definitely have other things to do. But I feel like people take it a little too seriously. Maybe I could write something about how people over- No, 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 no. We're not doing that. There's... There's no way. Did this man just ask me for my opinion and immediately shut it down? Okay, let me try to understand this. You're saying that misinformation doesn't matter. Well, not necessarily, but I'm sure there's other important matters. So you think that people should ignore misinformation because there's other important things? I... I guess? So you're saying that you don't care that people are dying? How? What in the world is bro talking about? How did I go from asking my teacher a simple question to being accused of wanting people to die? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Now I can admit my mistakes because the actual topic of the essay was COVID misinformation specifically. So when I was talking about misinformation, I was thinking about those AI Joe Biden memes. So that's my bad. But nowhere in our conversation did I mention wanting people to die. No, no, of course people's lives are important. Well, watch what you're saying, orange guy, because now you're starting to contradict yourself. Literally just a second ago, you were saying misinformation doesn't matter, but all of a sudden you're saying it does. You can't be flip-flopping between two subjects, orange guy. You have to choose one for this topic essay. You have to choose one. You know, my mom was actually hospitalized due to COVID. And the way you're speaking about the subject is very selfish. Oh. My. Goodness. I just wanted to know what to write for my essay, man. Where the freak are these moral questions coming from? Me? Selfish? Yes! Because who the freak are you to me? And why'd you bring your crusty mama into this? Oh no, your mom's in the hospital. We do not care. <laughs> Luckily, I have decent social awareness. And I know that this guy's gonna keep yapping his mouth if I try to explain myself. Which I don't care about because I just want to know what to write for my essay! Okay. Clearly, I don't know enough about this subject, so what should I write my essay about? That's a pretty straightforward question, isn't it? At this point, he's got to answer it in maximum three, four sentences, right? This dude draws an entire diagram about how this topic relates to this topic, and this one actually stems from here, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's the topic I should write about. Well, you see, in theory, you actually can go about it that way, but it's actually more so of a stem so that you understand what this means. So that's the topic I should write about. 
technically yes, but not actually because you should be doing- So that's the topic I should be writing about. Well, it's actually more so of a- So that's the topic I should be writing about. Well, technically, yeah, that, that's a topic you can write about. Oh, okay. Thank you. I absolutely hate this stupid teacher. This absolute piece of garbage. Because that whole conversation took nearly an hour. Oh my God. And the whole time, Bro was accusing me of crazy stuff. And in the end, he tried to avoid answering my question. It was so bad that after we were done, the homie came up to make sure his topic was good. This, this can't be. Moral of the story, some people don't listen to the words that you're actually saying. For some reason. But if you need to get something important from that person, you need to persist and make sure you get through their stupidness. Because, well, it's important like passing that stupid class. Which I did, of course, because I'm a Giga Chad. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Encarge Orange Guy. And man, hey, thanks for watching this, uh, this full story. If you've seen the first two parts, you know, this is the full story put together. This is exactly how I wanted to tell the story, but I just didn't have enough time. And you might be wondering, oh, orange guy, you're you're just copying content. Yes, because I had a crazy week this week, and I want to get you guys a super clean video for next week. And um, I've seen other people do stuff like this. I figured it'd be a good way to get the whole story in one. It's pretty long, lots of orange guy and stuff. I just got done getting a new car, which was pretty intense, so that's why I was busy. Uh, dream car actually I'll maybe I'll show you guys one day um, But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed for those of you who knew those of you who aren't new Thanks for watching it all the way this far. You are a real OG. You're the real ones, but you new people you need to subscribe sub subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Right now ah!